Forget about all that, just go racing. He's at front. Oh, problems in turn number two. We've got an accident, a couple trucks spinning around. The 07 gets turned around. If Craig Kensel get a look, that's him right there in the Centrex Chevrolet. He's going to get loose getting down in turn number one. Watch that. You see him get loose. He has to chase the truck up the hill. When he does, he makes contact with his 07 of Wayne Edwards, and then Justin Algar came along with absolutely nowhere to go and makes some pretty hard contact with the 07. You know, we documented the rookies have been extremely impressive here in this race. You know, we watch the keep watching the scoring monitor. And Marcus Ambrose was the fastest truck on the racetrack almost every lap. Now Michelle Jordan running second took over the second spot from David Rudiman. He's the fastest truck on the racetrack the last three laps. There's a good battle right there for third. That's the 17 of David Rudiman and David Reagan in the Jack Roush Scott's Ford number six. This is actually in the great stat just handed to me. It's the first time two foreign born drivers have run first and second in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. And I think we just saw a slider in turn two, certainly. I believe that's the 07. Wayne Edwards getting spun around one more time, having troubles in one and two. Sideways through turn one. We take a look back at it. He's right up against the wall. He does brush it with the right quarter panel. Watch Kerry Arendar combine the 13. Just squeak by as 07 comes down the racetrack. And that's closer than it looks, <laughs> even right there. I mean, Kerry Earnhardt, very, very fortunate. But heads up, you know, a lot of times when you see a race. NASCAR came down and said up. he is not slowing down quickly enough. And there's a crash on the racetrack. It's Bobby East getting teammate. into the wall. The 21 of Bobby East, as you mentioned, his teammate, Marcus Ambrose's teammate, had gotten into the wall. A lot of damage to the back of that truck. Guys, what happened? He's on the inside of the 15 of Kevin Grubb. Gets a little bit loose as the 15 goes by. Has to chase it up the hill, Hermie. He's in a real bad spot there because he's below one truck, and he's got Johnny Benson tucked right in behind him, taking A off the back of his truck. So he's by in the a bad five spot there. Mike Skinner. Mike well, Skinner gets loose. Skinner got loose. He got into the back of the 85. We're riding along with Dennis Setzer as he slides sideways down the back stretch. Looked like Mike Skinner may have made some contact with the outside wall. He did. That's Mike Skinner left of your screen. They would be back on lead level. Let's see if we can take a look right there. There's Ron Hornaday, the 33. Mike Skinner gets loose, has to chase the truck up the hill, makes a little bit of contact with Dennis Setzer. Looks like Mike Skinner almost saves it, but he lost control, overcorrected, made some contact with the outside wall, hard contact with the outside wall. A lot of guys did a good job getting Mike's by Mike Skinner as he came down off the wall across the racetrack. I believe one of those is the 02 that Brad Keselowski is driving. We see him just behind this mess taking place. Watch Brad Keselowski go to the wall here to avoid both of these trucks and drive right through. Well, great job by Brad Keselowski because Mike Skinner came up to the wall. Brendan Gaughan did a good job getting by underneath of Mike Skinner. There was a little bit of contact right there with somebody on the inside. It looked like maybe Rick Crawford had a little bit of contact. There's another view. You see Mike Skinner get loose underneath Dennis Setzer. He makes contact. There went, Rick Crawford just went by right there, so that wasn't him. You see Mike Skinner make some contact. He's going to back down off the racetrack. That's Bill Lester that came by in the 22 Toyota. And White flag comes out. Ron had an, uh, Rick Crawford had another great run off of turn number four. Had some momentum. See if he can clear Brendan Gaughan. Brendan Gaughan up on the high side. Rick Crawford going on the low side. Gaughan gets way too high in turn number two. That allows Johnny Benson to move up, take over third, and now it's a drag race for third down the back stretch. The battle for third continues between Gaughan and Benson, but out in front of the field, the stands up on their feet, and it will be Ron Hornaday winning in Kentucky. And Brendan Gaughan just nipped by Rick Crawford for the second position. Second consecutive second place run for Rick Crawford.